Hey you all, Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north. More specifically, Elkhart, Indiana. And even more specifically than that, I am in front of the RV and mobile home Hall of Fame. This is a celebration of the mobile home, the RV, and the important people in the mobile home and RV industry. And this place actually holds a very, very special place in my heart. Um, back before I started doing these videos, back when I was doing Flickr and doing my photo uh, blog, uh, my grandfather, he uh, drove an RV, and my grandmother would travel in an RV, and we talked him into taking us here in his RV. We wanted to go to the RV Hall of Fame in an actual RV. So he he drove us here. Uh, we we sat in the R we drove you know sat in the RV, headed over here. They have special RV parking here, of course, and uh, we had a great day. And um, that was kind of the last trip I went on with him. Uh, very shortly afterwards, he developed cancer and passed away a year later. Uh, so definitely, this makes me think about my grandfather. And um, I'm very interested in checking it out once more. So please, follow me. Looks like some sort of Philadelphia Eagle RV right there. Look at this old beautiful thing. And even this elk is made out of RVs. You can see its rear is an Airstream trailer and uh, more modern RV on the front. Here's a uh, covered wagon. I guess that was the predecessor to the RV 2018. Hall of Fame class. Let's see some of these folks. Daryl Bondrager, he's an RV uh, manufacturer. Uh, this guy, uh, Michael Cirillo, he owns a mobile home community. He says this is a model of the 94 Pace Arrow. He said this was used for publicity photos. They said that using a full-sized RV was too expensive, so they just used this little one in photos and pretended it was big. This bear here on top of this tiny little bear sized RV. Oh, it's being pulled by this guy over here. Heading into the Go RVing Hall. What will you discover? Here's a model of an RV factory. So start the tour here. Okay, I don't think that's going to start. Anyways, we'll just, we'll just do our self-guided tour. Let's see here how they put on the fiberglass and press board. It slowly evolves into a wonderful traveling home. All right, we got this cool little trailer here. Let's peek inside. Oh, yeah. Man, I could, I could, I could dig something like this. There's a more modern style RV. Oh yeah, this is extremely luxurious. This is nicer than my house. <laughs> Cozy old bed back here. Now into the RV Founders Hall as we follow this American highway right here. Oh wow. It's a 1913 travel trailer. This has been pulled by a Model T. You can see uh, it's kind of just like a sitting area, but I guess that probably converts into a sleeping room as well. Yeah, you can just see the Model T puttering along, dragging this. It's really amazing. I've always been partial to the metal Airstream style RV. I think we can peek inside a little bit. Oh, look at that. They got a little Etch-a-Sketch, old-timey camera there. There's the Air Screamer. It's an Airstream-shaped guitar. I love peeking in these RVs. Ah, a lot of wood in there, a lot of woodwork. It's a very old-school pop-up style. I remember my grandparents, they would use a pop-up when they traveled, you know, when my mom was younger. 
Oh, something else my grandparents would use right there. That's actually like a sandwich maker. We can make a hot sandwich on a campfire. Here's the Tennessee Traveler. It almost looks like it's got the front like an old timey car. And has like this wooden cab. It almost looks like a train car. Oh, I love those seats. They're just like wooden folding chairs that you drive in. I continue to follow the RV road. Because you sleep on the card table there. And this is what I love about this museum is some of these select RVs they actually let you go inside. Beautiful, beautiful thing here. Oh my gosh, the entire RV shifted when I sat this way. Fridge opened. Look at this, they have a sexy lady fishing calendar. Am I supposed to be in here? This is. Yeah, this one almost looks like the bed of like a pickup truck or a car, but then it pops up into a tent. This beautiful thing right here is called the Yellowstone Travel Trailer. Let's take a look inside. Oh, someone left out some warm bread and coffee. I can feel this one shifting to moving around uh, with my weight, but I, I guess that's I guess that's just part of part of an RV, right? It's right here. Another one of the pop-up style. I guess you have a privacy curtain, so you don't have to look at each other while you sleep. But you've got these little ones. This is probably all I need. If I could pull this on the back of my car. I just have an awesome little area to hang out in. And this one here is pretty much just a bed on wheels. Just climb in, but that's all you need sometimes. That's all you need. I can barely contain my excitement. This here is called the Mallard. A duck themed RV. Oh, look at that. That wonderful silverware. They left out some lemonade for us. Jeez, I just love all these wonderful old school RVs. Pairing a little dinner there. Some Coca-Colas. This one's from 1985. Imagine being on a family road trip in the 80s. Must have been wonderful. I love how in the 80s everything had to be covered in fur and so fluffy. Ah, so shiny. Look at that wonderful shiny thing. The 1967 Fan Luxury Liner. See the luxury in here. That carpet is pretty luxurious. I love that clock up there. Oh, look at that. Wallpaper right there. Yeah, pure luxury. It's maybe a little random, and there's a exhibit on Poker Alice. Generally, you see her talked about again out west in the old west towns, but uh, yeah, she was like a cigar smoking lady that played poker, kind of an iconic. Western image. Not not really sure what we're talking about her here, but it's cool nonetheless. Oh, this RV has a bathtub. It's a nice bathroom for an RV right there. Oh, look at this. I love it. I love the upholstery on this one. The 
Bolus Road Chief. Get in there. I like how the inside's all wood. I like the structure there at the end. Oh, look at a tiny, tiny little stove. Tiny little sink. You almost have to like walk around on your knees in here. It's one of the most amazing RVs here. This is the Star Streak. It's actually a custom-made RV. So I think only two of these exist in the world. It's a 1928 Aerofleet house car. I look, it does look like, like a little street car. I mean, look at the front of this. It's got these iron gates on the front. Oh, look at that old-timey toilet in there. That's something. It's a 1955 Spartan mobile home. This one's being cleaned currently. This is the Holiday Rambler. It's a 1974 GMC motor home. Really love that. I love the bright yellow colors and the designs. Let's check it out on the inside. 1967 Winnebago, right here. Oh, there's the shower toilet. Guess you can shower on the actual toilet. Seems efficient. Some toy RVs in here, including some RV characters from the Cars movie. Over here we got a Lego RV. Some tiny little Hot Wheels RVs. Oh, look at all these wonderful tiny little RVs right here. Oh, these are so cool. What's that? Dog building. Oh, look at that. It's the big chicken. In Georgia, Marietta. Of course, the most famous television RV would be Walter White's RV. Right there. Also, I guess that, that's Cousin Eddie's RV in front. What are these bear prints leading to? Oh, it looks like it's a, uh, it's a bear chair. What's going on here? With the two RVers, the man holding a fish over his face, the woman holding Hours over face. I guess they don't want their faces shown. I just got a peek. I gotta, I gotta see his face. Oh, he's, he's, he's haunting. So that was the RV and Motor Motorhome Hall of Fame and Museum. I really love this place. I like that you get to go inside the RVs, kind of check the RVs, uh, get that full RV experience. I know a lot of people suggest that, that I need an RV. I need to, to get an RV when I travel. I would love that. I mean, I would love to be in an RV. I love the feeling of being in an RV. Uh, the main reason is it's expensive. It's expensive. Uh, RVs themselves are expensive. RVs maintaining them is expensive. And uh, the gas, oh my gosh, the gas is very, very expensive. So at this point, it doesn't make economical sense uh, for me to have an RV. Maybe someday, maybe someday. But anyways, appreciate you guys joining me. Uh, if you'd like to see other places I've been, please check the interactive map in the description. It'll show you where I've been, and you can tell me where I need to go next. Also, if you'd like to help us support this channel, consider buying a t-shirt. Consider donating to Patreon. But for now, this one's in the bag.